Hi, this is Mark Richards with Influent Consulting. And a quick one today, I'm going to show you uh, how to incorporate changes that we make in the source file and flow them all the way through our mappings. Now, if you recall, uh, when we looked at our profile at the annual salary, we'd set it as a string and we determined that we could uh, make this into an integer. So I'm going to open my definition file, that CSV file, and I'm going to take my annual salary and I'm going to change this to be an integer and I'm going to save it and close it. Now, we can see here that in our map stage salaries that annual salary has now transformed itself into an integer but that doesn't have any effect on any of the later transformations that it is also included in like the sort transformations. How do I fix that? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, I select this column and I right click on it and I select this propagate attributes and it gives me this selection box um, and I'm gonna go forward here I actually am at the beginning I could do both doesn't make any difference um, I don't want to uh, propagate the name because I may be doing some input or outputs on there but I do want to propagate the data type and if I click on preview it'll show me the path in which it goes along and if I apply it we can see that annual salary here has changed to integer now it hasn't changed it here um, and it, uh, that, that's, that's because this is uh, an existing data source. This is the database that, uh, table that I've created. So this is already preset. But where it will change it is everywhere uh, along the lines um, in all the transformations that I've done. So there you go. Um, pretty easy and pretty nice little feature. Next demo, I'm going to show you how to add an aggregate into this transformation.